Hello, Dr. Mark here from Adjusted Chiropractic in Melbourne with a quick note on disc degeneration. When there are misalignments of the spine and it's bad enough, it can press on the nerves that come out of the spine. We call this a subluxation. Subluxations also cause disc degeneration. Did you know that? We have a system for listing the condition of the discs, which is helpful for the chiropractor during correction, but also helpful for you. Why is it helpful for you? Because people have told me many times, I saw my doctor and they said my problem is because I have arthritis, so nothing can be done. Well, I'm here to advise that this is incorrect and that there is a lot that can be done and it is very important. Misalignments of the spine cause the arthritis, which is caused by the underlying problem. So let's look at the stages of disc degeneration. There are six. This is an example of D1 or a swollen disc. We see how the entire disc is noticeably thickened and swollen from an acute injury. It's obvious, it's obvious that we can see how it's thicker than the other discs in the area of the spine. In D2 we see the disc is thin at the posterior. The space of the posterior of the disc is diminished with the vertebra just noticeably misaligned posterior wood and also inferior wood. The disc condition has proceeded beyond the acute stage. That's where we see how it is posterior and thin there. Then we progress to D3 or disc is very thin at posterior. So the disc is extremely wedged and the body having misaligned very posterior wood and inferior wood. This is a chronic state. Here as an example of D4 where the total disc is uh, thin. Uh, the total disc thickness, you can, we can see it is diminished and may be reduced to about two thirds of, of its original height. Um, the vertebra is misaligned posterior wood, which means backwards, and also inferior wood, which means down. There is minimal damage to the vertebral body above the disc with some evidence of arthritis um, on the lower part of the joint. This condition has become more chronic than the one before. Here is an example of progressing to a D5 where we see that the total disc is very thin. Uh, so this category here is the total disc is very thin. Um, the total disc uh, is decreased to about one third of its original thickness of where, where it originally began. And the body has misaligned very backward, very posterior wood and also inferior wood, so inferior. There's severe damage to the body of the vertebra above and also um, well advanced um, arthritis. Uh, this is much more chronic and more difficult to correct. And then finally we have here D6 where the total disc is extremely thin. We can see the entire disc spacing is greatly diminished from where it uh, once started, uh, being two thirds to totally reduced. Uh, the vertebra is extremely posterior and inferior and there is, uh, this is the most chronic and the most difficult uh, to correct. So we see here the D6, the total disc is extremely thin. Just to point out how much different the other discs are, they're still quite healthy. So this only happens at area of misalignment or subluxation. So there you have it. It's important to know that as each stage of degeneration progresses, it is more difficult to correct. So it's encouraged to have a chiropractic assessment as soon as possible, especially if you've never seen a chiropractor before. So from the team at Adjusted Chiropractic, have a great day.